Hey everyone, it's Amanda with Americana Gardens and this video is going to be so much fun. I will be visiting two locations, the Home Depot and Walmart. I know for a fact that Home Depot received a new shipment in of houseplants with the Plain View Pure brand logo. And they have some amazing succulents and cacti to choose from. I'm really happy that they started carrying their brand and it's very affordable too. It's almost like too affordable. It seems too good to be true, but it's good. And then I'm just going to be hopping right over to Walmart. They're in the same complex. How convenient for me, right? <laughs> and Walmart received um, new house plants, and I did do a video featuring that. Um, however, the day after I did that video, they unboxed a lot more. So I'm just going to hop over there and check out uh, some of the new plants. I know they did get some really neat Hoyas in, which I'm excited about. And we'll check all that good stuff out. So I'm very excited. Plants are arriving. Plants are arriving. Yay! Uh, by the way, uh, this is going to be my live premiere video. Every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a live premiere. So it is a new video that hasn't aired. And also, I will be live in the chat. So you can chat with me and you can chat with other plant lovers that happen to be... Uh, watching the video too, so it's a lot of fun. Good community. So this video is gonna be mainly about the house plants uh, that arrived, but they do have some of their fruit trees available. I'm at the Home Depot and some other stuff. So I'm just gonna browse through it very, 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 very quickly. Okay, so it looks like we got a bunch of palettes here. Some, I guess these are lilacs, yeah. They're all, they have all their buds up there. Some boxwoods evergreens it's a nice time to get evergreens because now is the time where you can see where your plants are uh where your landscape is lacking so for scythias oh yeah this um false cypress yeah beautiful <gasps> yes 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 oh my gosh this heather or they call it heath but um Look at those amazing blooms. This is an evergreen, and it, in the early, early spring, we get these really neat blooms. How much are they? $15. Okay, good to know. I would really like to get a bunch of those. Okay, we got some cherry trees. I don't actually have any cherry trees in my yard. I have the blooming one, not like fruit producing ones. Huh. Interest. How about 12 to 15? That might be nice. I have a uh, dwarf peach, 8 to 10 feet. So this is great stuff to have for um, like a small garden or around your home. I like how these stems are red. Whoa, that's neat interest right there. Oh, that's a nectarine. Nice. Colors for these big gallon stuff. Oh, and this is beautiful. This is ornamental. Um, peach tree. Patio peach, they call it, yeah, they say ornamental, but you can use it in culinary. I know mine produces, and mine's all buttered up too, just like this, beautiful blooms. All right, all right, so let's go in the store and check out the house plants. I just had to check out what they had out there. Um, it's in, I live in Pennsylvania, guys, and it's uh, like 40 degrees, and I'm in a t-shirt outside, so like I'm totally ready for spring. <laughs> yes, all right. Plain View Pure. This is a new one that um, starts being carried in my local Home Depot. Look at the cuddly cactus. Oh my gosh, how cute. So the cuddly cactus does not have any um, spikes on it. So I noticed this cuddly cactus right here has uh, like six ribs to it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the rest of them have like five. Only five of them. So, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, Cully Cactus, $12.88, no thorns, was $20. Look at these pots that they put them in too. Like, I love these. These kind of remind me of, um, it's kind of like a wicker. It has like a purple tinge to it. Ooh, that's neat. That's neat. Kind of reminds me of uh, what Proven Winners Leaf Joy line puts their plants in. Then we also have like this stone one here. I love these pots, guys. These pots are so cool. 
and then some white with some uh, metal type of rib or top to it and then also some funky zebra pattern ones <laughs> but yeah a lot of these are looking great cuddly cactus they're perfect oh oh but check this baby out right here look at that echeveria whoa that's it. i'm not going to touch it on the top but like size reference it's almost the size of my hand then we have some like horthias in there i think this is what they call a domino cactus and we also have another gotta get it out echeveria in the back there and it looks like we have some cacti do they call this like the buddhist temple cacti i think but um so these are twenty dollars twenty dollars guys that's it okay and these pots have like little feet on them so kind of interesting but that echeveria is like that beautiful beautiful ice blue purple color did do a video in here recently so I'm not gonna go over too much of these types of plants just some of the newer ones that arrived um, yeah look at this aloe vera I love these pots guys this is from that plain view pure again and then we also have a whale fin people are into that kind of stuff that's okay I'm not but that's cool and then down here there's some smaller ones Oh, so neat. Another Sansevieria. I like these types of Sansevierias. They're fun. Or the ones that you can uh, make into little um, like braids like this. How fun. And somebody stole the pot to that. That should have a pot like this. Shame. Shame. But let's go check out some of these. Yeah. Look at this cactus. It's covered in hair. Oh, I want to touch it. I do, I do. Oh, that's so neat. Why does that feel so soft? That is so, so interesting. Um, then we have a epiphyllum shark fin one in here. We have some Hoyas. And you know what? There's other ones on the other side. Yeah, let's go down here. That's where they are. These are more. Um, cacti and stuff but I know I probably went over these recently but I'll give you guys a little bit of a glance I don't want to get too involved here it's hard not to because cactus is like cacti are, is like my, my new jam here oh what did they do these Haworthias no they dyed them oh yeah does anybody actually buy these let me know in the comments do you guys buy these love or hate Love or hate them. And we have a golden barrel right over there, or home defense, as I call it. And oh, oh, these, yeah, see, this whole tray, like, needs, well, not all of it, like, that one's still good, but like, most of these are just bitten up. They have bugs and they need to be removed. They do, they need to be removed. Uh, here's some more cactus. I got a beautiful blue one the other day when I was here. Actually, yesterday. Yeah. But they have some great prices for the cacti here. This is like the other side of the Plain View Pure. Right in here. Nice. Look at these cacti they have. This is like the cowboy cactus or the wall wallafin. Wallafin cacti right there. Uh, some more of these epiphyliums. These are some Hoyas. You have a splash. I wonder, yeah, Hoya splash. Neat. Oh, and this is, look at this baby right here. Oh, look at that. This is like the ice blue perfect one. I did get a cactus like this very similar i'll have to show you guys in another video i'll do like a haul reveal because the last two days i did go plant shopping so more hoyas 
Yeah, and down here we got some nice ones too. I really like these pots. Oh, and this one is about to bloom. Here, let me just uh, carefully move some of these over here. I just want to show you guys. This is about to bloom. Look at those little pink ones. Yeah, look at those little pink ones. Uh, I got a cactus that's in bloom, by the way, guys. I'll show you guys later. All right, and this is some of their older inventory that they had down here. Uh, still in great condition. Can't go wrong with cacti. Oh, uh, my fan aloe. Oh no, it broke. It broke. Oh, I think that might be rotting. With that black. Ooh. These are some of the older succulents and stuff. I'm not gonna get too much into them, but some of them are getting really bitten up. They need to get rid of these uh, that are bitten up here. But I would love to get this type of, what is this, the low, uh, Angel Kiss Decavaria. Yeah, that's a beautiful coloring right there. But again, it's really, they're bitten up. These are older. So, no harm done. Oh, look at these San Severia Snow White. That's pretty. There's another one. The Black Flame. Oh, wouldn't that be neat if it actually was black? <laughs> but, okay, cool. I like different types of San Severias. And again, these pots are just like, I feel like they're just a classic. They're just a classic. Very neutral colors. I'm just gonna briefly go over some of these plants that are looking good because these are still somewhat old. But look at this Tradescantio, the feeling flirty and the nook type of thing. It's very, I love that color. I would actually like to buy a small, small one, not like in a pot like this, but like the $5 ones. Some Birkins, love that variegation. That Sony Eyes. And some ficus I guess this is the ruby right look at that color yeah that must be the ruby I just it lost all, all of its leaves on the bottom so it's gonna be more like tree form I'm sure it wasn't supposed to lose its leaves <laughs> uh, looks like a tenake right there all that variegation those, those are beautiful I like one there's actually multiple ones in the pot not just one make it look bushy and then look at over here, these Rojo Congos, like, they're so shiny. Look how, that's a big leaf. Ooh, oh, baby's coming. She's coming out. Baby's coming out. Uh, they have Alocasia here. Oh, guys, yeah, see, I had a purple sword. This is what this should be. And um, this is just, like, really, really bad. I yeah it's covered it has spider mites on it uh bad edgings oh so but take that away you got a beautiful rojo congo nice tenakes over here too oh i love that color some florida green Yes. Oh, look at this leaf here. I like how the new leaves are super shiny. Two different colors there. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that. A mishap. Is this what you would call sport variegation? I don't know. Maybe it's just hardening off. What's going on over here? We got one right here. Yeah, I think like the new, well, the new leaves are like a light green and then they harden off to a dark green. Yeah, I find these Rojo Congos like really, really stunning. Too bad for the Alocasias though. The uh, Purple Sword. Nest ferns down there. I like, I like seeing the little fronds on a furl. Those are so fun. I can't wait till my ferns start popping up in the garden. Larger plants, Stephanbachias. And is this a Dracaena? It's kind of neat with that, uh, the pink outline to it. I never seen that one before. Fun. Yeah, but Defenbachias are cool. Or is it a cordyline? 
quarter line because this is a quarter line right here this dark one I think that might be a quarter line not a dracaena jungle boogie here's another Deffenbach yeah beautiful classic oh, and these money trees have the braiding to them fun I don't like the smaller ones, but I like it when they do these braidings. Like, this is growing on me. How much are these? Probably like 60 bucks. Oh, they're only 30? That's not terrible. Lots of new growth on them. So, a wrap up with Home Depot. I'm really impressed with the Plainview Pure uh, line that came in last year at my local store, at least. I know they were carried at um, grocery stores and stuff like that, but right now it's... Um, this will be the second year that Plainview Pure is in my local Home Depot. And I'm excited to see some of the uh, cold hardy shrubs and uh, some flowers, if you will, if you want to consider the heather a flower, come out. And also some fruit trees and stuff. It's just so nice because it gives me motivation. Like, oh, warmer days, get in the garden. And I, I just love that. I love that. So, by the way, I know I've been doing a lot of, like, houseplant content, and I do love my houseplants, but I also do garden content outdoors um, in a zone 6, Pennsylvania. Okay, so now I am at Walmart. You probably can't see the sign. Um, so, or Wally World. Does anybody else call it Wally World, or is that just, like, local slang or something like that? I don't know. Wally World, Walmart. I'm going to show you guys the plants that came in, like, just over this weekend. Great stuff. Oh look, the car beside me has a little ghosty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, at the Walmart. So yeah, we got like the classic larger plants, the uh, palms, sensivarias or snake plants, uh, figs, some masteras here, looking good, peace lilies. Uh, there's a lot of plants that I did cover already. All uh, these poor calatheas, they got... The leaves are huge and beautiful, but like, oh, there's some crispiness going on. I'm gonna do that. Um, this one right here, oh my gosh. Yeah. See, these were on a pallet last time. If you have watched that video. So I only kind of like ripped open the plastic surrounding the pallet. But these are beautiful. It doesn't say exactly what kind. No, it doesn't. But I really like that coloring. Uh, these are kind of cool too, right here. That ice green and some purple tinges to it. Very beautiful. Uh, some nice size cactus too. I know these were in the box. Yeah, these are $15.97. Uh, I know these were in the box. So I wasn't able to show you guys last time what they were. Tons of aloe vera. <laughs> and this is what happens when you don't water plants when they come in. They're going through so much shock right now. Xanthosema. Yeah, look at this. These are just crumbling. They're bad. Um, some bromeliads. Yeah, these babies need water. I mean, that's bad, that's so bad. Oh, and lovely orchids. Look at the purples and the yellows with the pink or purple polka dots. I think this is gonna be like my summer or my spring indoor flower right here. I love it, it's so fun. And we got some of the miniature ones. These are always budget friendly. I love it, I love it, I love it. So we have a little aluminum plant, they're calling it. Okay, neat. I love silvers and greens. And I know they got my baby right here, the, the fern with the, uh, hold on, <laughs> there's a Tratoscantia leaf in it. The rabbit foot's fern. Yeah, these are so nice and so soft, I love it. Then we also have some Tratoscantia with the purple backing, love it. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, 
Oh wow, this is neat. False Aurelia. Ooh, some nice variegation colors on it. Uh, but we also have that purple passion plant right back there. Look at that. Ooh, look at the contrast. These need water so bad. They need water so, 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 so bad. And some hanging plants. Yep, they got a Hoya Yeti, 20 bucks pretty much. Uh, I got mine. I love it when they become sun stressed. So I can't, yeah, I got an idea for mine. Um, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. You just guys are just gonna have to wait for another video. Variegated teardrop, peperomia. So we got some yellows and light greens in there. Some petonias. And they are calling this a sweat, sweet plant. It kind of feels mossy. It's very soft, kind of mossy. That's, that's the best way to, to describe it. But um, yeah, these purple passion plants, these are five bucks, roughly four, five dollars, five. So, but yeah, these are really nice. They have that velvety texture to them. And who doesn't love a purple plant? Oh yeah, and here's some of the fun stuff. This is what was wrapped up and I really couldn't get a good um, view on last time I was here. It was, look at this. This is having blooms. It's gonna have blooms, guys. What are these, 15 bucks? Yeah, 16, 16 bucks, but fun. Fun, I like how it's kind of shaped. I did pick up one that is blooming. <laughs> And I'll show you guys when I do something in my house plants. I like this Cal and Chloe right here. Four dollars for the small one. They have larger ones, which essentially has like three of them in it for five. Some fun cacti in here. Oh my word. Yes, this is great. I love seeing this stuff. I love it. Um, some really neat echeverias in here, and cacti. Uh, this one is going to bloom too. You can see the, the blooms up top there. And this one is fuzzy. I love it. It's fuzzy. I'm going to touch it though. Oh, it's so, it's, it's soft. And then you have the spine still on it, so it's like, it tricks you. You think you're safe to touch it. <laughs> there we go. There's one blooming right there. Look at that baby. Woo! And again, some more lovely echeverias here. Beautiful. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I love this one with the, um, oh, I gotta focus that a little more. Yep, I love this one right here with the uh, pur dark purple outline to it. Fun. They have such a nice variety in here, guys. Wonderful variety. Can't wait until more come in, but I know my wallet won't like it. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice little arrangement in here, the furry cactus. That echeveria there. And then what is this? Is this like a Cal and Chloe? Oh, that's a neat texture. Oh, that's fun. It's almost like a Velcro. Does anybody know that type of uh, plant? Again, it's like almost like a Velcro, a soft Velcro. Oh, I can make such a, this is like so great because they have the purples and the blues. They have really a lot of different colors and textures to make some great arrangements in. Oh, they really need to come out and water these bad boys. <gasps> no. I will water them for you. Oh my gosh, yeah, see they got hit with the cold too. Some of these anthuriums. Uh-huh. These Deffenbachia leaves, but they're really stressed. They're, they're drooping. Hi, Walmart. Well, that's what I got for you guys today. It was fun looking at some new plants and I will show you all what I got plant shopping in another video so hit subscribe hit like and again every monday 7 p.m eastern standard time i do a live video chat so it's fun tune in bye